Welcome back to Pure Science Education. Today we'll be looking at plant and animal cells. We will be focusing on the similarity and differences between the two cells. Let's look at the structure. So as you can see, I have highlighted various structures in different colors. Those are the ones we'll be looking at in terms of similarities. So the first one there is the nucleus. Both cells have a nucleus and the um, job of the nucleus is where the genetic information is held or found. So the nucleus has genetic information. The next structure we will be looking at, which is highlighted here in um, blue, is cytoplasm. As you can see, cytoplasm covers most of the cell in terms of space. So cytoplasm is where the chemical reaction takes place. Right, the next structure we're going to look at is a cell membrane. <clears throat> which is highlighted in yellow which again it's something in both um, cells so cell membrane has a semi permeable division between the cell and its surrounding. So semi-permeable means it only allows certain stuff through. So, which, um, because it only allows certain stuff through, it allows to control its biochemistry of the cell. Next structure I'm going to look at, which is highlighted here in purple, is the mitochondria. Now, mitochondria is like the powerhouse of the cell. So mitochondria is where you will find um, the energy uh, for essential processes um, such as aerobic respiration. Now we will be looking at smooth and rough endoplasmic reticulum which you can see are, is highlighted in green and in and the red uh, for the rough endoplasmic reticulum. So the smooth and uh, rough endoplasmic reticulum. The job of the smooth endoplasmic reticulum is to make lipids. And the common word for lipids is fats. And the job of the rough endoplasmic reticulum is to help the production and storage of protein. Now, the final um, structure we want to look for similarities, um, which is here highlighted in green, is the Golgi apparatus. So let's have a look at that. Again, it's common in both sides. And the Golgi apparatus is where uh, it modifies the lipids. Oh, sorry, modifies the protein. Okay, so this is all the um, similarity between an animal and plant cell. So let's look at the differences between the two now. 
So the differences are highlighted um, in the diagram. The first one we're going to look at is cell wall. So it, as you can see um, here on the plant itself, it's got two layers rather than the animal. It's got one and the outer layer as highlighted in green is the cell wall. And the job of the cell wall is to support and protect the cell. Um, it provides the cell, um, the plant cell, with a fixed, regular shape in comparison to the animal shape, which isn't as fixed. Um, it's made out of rigid cell, uh, which um, is made from cellulose. The next one we're going to look at is um, autotrophus. Autotrophus is where the plant make its own food through photosynthesis so plants make their own food by photosynthesis um and what they do when we say on food, we're looking at the sugar they make. Um, and photosynthesis is a process where plant will use the sunlight um, and the water to make the sugars, which are then broken down by mitochondria, which is the powerhouse for the cell. The next one we want to look at, which is highlighted in yellow, um, is a vacuole. Now, vacuole uh, makes up ninety percent in terms of space for the plant cell. Uh, its job is to fill up the cell. Um, it has enzymes that helps digestion for the plant. And it provides space to degenerate waste um, substances as well. So degrade waste. Now another feature that plants have are flingil. The flingil is found in mainly the plants' reproductive. organs now animal cell does not have this but it has something called the cilii so animal cells now cilia are finger like structure um, they are found in humans as well in the respiratory system. They move the mucus along. They're also found in the female reproductive system um, to move the sperm towards the egg. Um, animal cells also have lysosomes which are used for cell um, processes. So this was a very quick um, snapshot of the similarity and difference between a plant and animal cell. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please subscribe and like. Um, if you would like any other videos being me made for you specifically or any particular topic, then please leave a comment.